breakfast today. And it's because I have some thick sliced French toast. Mm. Okay. So it's whole grain French toast with a hint of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And you can unwrap it, put it on a plate, microwave it for 30 seconds, and then turn it over and microwave for another 30 seconds. Is it done here? It is pretty thick, see? And that is a tablespoon of the fat free syrup you can have. So, haha. -ha. I like that this and pancakes only really take like a tablespoon, whereas waffles, you want a tablespoon per waffle because all those little squares suck it up. And then I can only have a tablespoon of dressing on my salad for lunch. Whereas now I can have French toast in the morning and two tablespoons of dressing for salad. So that makes me happy. Huh. <laughs> hmm. It's very good. It's very, very good. It is pretty thick. Um, it's pretty moist and stuff. Um, very moist. In fact, um, when you flip it the first time, the other side feels frozen still, and you're like, that's not going to get it cooked. But it does. But then, when you're done flipping it twice, and you're taking it out, I picked it up just to feel the, un the underneath, and it was really like soggy and wet under there, which is fine. It works if you put like syrup on it and you eat it, but um, because it's covered in syrup, which is wet anyway. But if you wanted to just like have it not be kind of soggy on the bottom, I don't know what you would do then. I guess put it in the oven. But again, I am not working with an oven in the morning. I don't mind. At light at lunch or dinner, but I'm not gonna work with it in the morning, so it would always be microwave. But this is so good, I'm so excited now! Yay! Because I'll probably, I love the waffles, I love the waffles, and I still love the waffles a little more um, than the French toast. But the French toast is very close second, like that's all I would order probably are yeah, waffles and French toast. Um, all I ordered from the frozen this month were waffles and French toast, and uh, the cinnamon rolls, I think, are really good. The frozen cinnamon rolls, so I think I would just keep ordering what I'm ordering now. Some cinnamon rolls, some French toast, and still waffles are a little better. So waffles were a 5. This is like a 4.5, and it's very good. Because it left me feeling full, like, for a while. I was pretty satisfied, so that was, I don't know if it was a fluke or if it was the French toast. I don't know. It, was very, it held me over for hours. I just wasn't hungry, so, but I am now, so, I'm going to grab steak and cheese melt. I ordered it last time, but it didn't come for some reason, but it's here now. Okay, beef, steak, meat, onions, peppers, mushrooms, reduced fat, mozzarella, cheese, and gravy baked in soft bread. <sighs> oh, soft bread, oh no. I like the harder ones, the rolls, a little better. Um, I like the rolls a little better. So, you remove it from the wrapper, microwave it for a minute and a half. So, this is going to be like the soft one, like the meatball one. Well, maybe it'll work better with the stick. So, yeah, it looks like the same one. There's this weird, like, thing popping out of it. What is that? Is that like a worm? <laughs> you. I'm just gonna, oh there, I'll just break that off. I don't know what that is. Anyway, so it's the same look as the um, meatball one. So maybe the soft bread works better on this one. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, this is always way more fulfilling than the dry good stuff. Like melts, yay! Anyway, <laughs> looks like I'm eating a giant Twinkie again. They're not this color. I don't know why. They're actually kind of close to my finger color. Like a tan. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. I told you inside, okay? Mm. 
The soft bread works with the steak and cheese one better than it worked with the meatball. Although with the meatball, soft bread makes sense too, actually, but I don't know. Mm. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I might order one or two of them, but it's like m mushed up, mashed up steak, you know? I was thinking it'd be like bits of steak, like steak chunk of mashed potatoes, which sounds delicious. So it's pretty good. Um, the other melts are better. So um, I'll give this one like a four, maybe 3.5 to four. It's all right. I might order some occasionally, but the pepperoni pizza melt, the four cheese melt, and the Parmesan chicken melt are the best ones. And then new, new Trisista meatballs and marinara sauce. It is tender beef meatballs and a spicy red sauce. I was not expecting this. You know, it was weird. Because you see this, of course, and you're like, yay. And then you get it in the box. So basically, they say, tear the pouch an inch to vent, and then stand the pouch up in the microwave, and microwave it on high for 30 to 40 seconds, and then put it on a roll. Well, I have whole grain bread. I don't have a whole grain roll. But... So I'll be putting it on a piece of bread. Still not whole grain, but it's whole wheat bread. So it's still going to be... Okay, so that's all that comes in it. This box and this pouch of like red saucy liquid. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. So it looks like it comes to about there. So you want to cut in an inch to vent. Tear pouch one inch to vent. And then, so you're not adding water or anything to it. You're just microwaving it, standing up in the microwave for 30 to 40 seconds and adding it to bread, so. So, the meatballs look like that. Don't worry, the broccoli is just, you know, a side that doesn't come with it, clearly. And that's on my uh, whole wheat piece of bread. I'm just going to fold it in half, sort of, and make a sandwich out of holding it in half because of course you can only have one piece of bread so anyway okay mm. very good mm -hmm. the meatballs are very good very good this is what I was expecting out of the meatball melt were like actual meatballs Maybe slightly smaller than this, but the meatball melt was just a bunch of mashed up stuff. It wasn't very good. Um, to be really good. So as far as meatballs go, I'd give it like a 4.5 because there's better meatballs out there. Um, and then just in general, as far as me ordering it, because of how quick this dinner was, this was the quickest dinner ever of any of their dinners. Ever. I mean, even the soups that you can get for dinner. This was so fast. 30, 40 seconds in the microwave and it's done. Your dinner's just done. That's amazing. One thing I don't think they made clear is they want you to add a whole grain roll to this. Well, does that mean that's going to be your carb for the day? And you're going to have to save your carb for dinner? Or is this like in addition to it? And they just assume you're going to be eating it with it? I'm, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? So I didn't see it on the box. You know, this counts as a, you know, your carb for the day. So, I hope it more cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, white chocolate chunk cookies today. It looks so good. Buttery cookies with white chocolate chips and hazelnuts. <laughs> oh. I have no idea what's going to be like. Okay, so... They're like that size. Oh, well, maybe this was like a weird one. Yeah. Okay, no, they are they are a little smaller. They're slightly smaller than the other cookies. And you get seven? Oh, you get eight of them. Eight of them. Okay. <laughs> they come to there in the bag. Look at it all. Okay. We will see. Mm -hmm. Can see. You know, a little, I don't know what that is. If that's the white chocolate or if that's the hazelnuts. I don't know. 
Anyway, okay. Mmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Good job, Nutri System. Um the best I've ever had. I love white chocolate. I wish they made white chocolate covered pretzels because those milk chocolate covered pretzels are amazing. I just wish they had it in white chocolate as well. This is the first time I've seen like, you know, like white chocolate where you'd really, really want it. You know, so white chocolate chips or something is in these and they are so good. This is definitely a five for me. Definitely a five. These are probably the best of these mini crunchy type cookies. This would probably be number one for me. Number two might be the um, the walnut chocolate chip cookies, and then the chocolate chip cookies, and the double chocolate chip cookies are too chocolatey. Those are, yeah. but these three would be my favorite. So totally five stars.